so simplification rules so k map simplification rules so first one at the time of grouping adjacent cells containing ones always use maximum possible group okay at the time of grouping the adjacent cells containing ones always use a maximum possible group that means for example if you have pair okay for example if i am taking like this these are the uh, 4 cross 4 that means uh, 16 cell k map okay out of the 16 cell these are uh, the square boxes consisting all ones okay here i have a pair right one one this these uh, two adjacent square boxes consider as one pair and this is also one pair but by considering these four square boxes we have a quad right so pair also available and quad also available so in that situation what you have to choose means whichever is the highest possibility that you have to choose that is the meaning of uh, this sentence at the time of grouping the adjacent cells containing ones always use maximum possible group we have pair and we we also have quad so instead of pair you can choose quad but by looking this entire uh, column so we have uh, one more quad also available here if you observe this is one quad right so by combining all these things okay I will form group of 8 adjacent square boxes right grouping of 8 adjacent square boxes first possibility is pairs okay how many pairs 1 2 3 4 pairs we can expect in this uh, k map right in the similar way if you go for quads we, we can expect 2 quads here right but if you looking this entire k map there is a possibility of grouping of 8 adjacent cells so this is one possibility so now uh, which one you consider uh, while analyzing this k map pairs or quads 8 adjacent cells obviously you can choose maximum possible group so this grouping of 8 adjacent cells is the maximum possible group so that i will move for this 8 grouping of 8 adjacent cells okay this is the maximum possible group okay so that i will this one as uh, one group not quad and not pair okay that is the meaning of uh, this sentence at the time of grouping the adjacent cells containing ones always use the maximum possible group okay instead of pairs and quads you can choose grouping of eight adjacent for example if this k map considering one here also one here also one 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 all the 16 boxes having ones so in that situation what you have to take grouping of grouping of 16 adjacent cells this is the maximum possibility adjacent cells okay this is the maximum possibility while considering this grouping of eight adjacent cells that depends on the square boxes containing ones okay so that is the key observation so while solving this k map methods the second point here is uh, all the cells containing ones must be covered at least once in any group for example here uh, we have four variable k map here the variables are a b c d right so i am taking uh, one example here that means uh, this is the function uh, which are providing now you can form pair otherwise quad otherwise group of eight adjacent cell or group of 16 adjacent cell that depends on uh, square boxes which are containing ones okay so if you observe so here we are forming uh, one pair right here we have uh, one pair any other pair we will expect if you looking uh, this corner we have one and this corner also one this corner also one and this corner also one so by using these four corners uh, we will make one quad first we will take this one and after that this one these two are formed one pair and in the same way these two edges these two corners are formed one pair by considering these two this pair and this pair so we will form one quad adjacent cells means don't think side by side only these also adjacent cells only okay 0 0 0 1 1 1 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 1 1 0 that means uh, these two cells also adjacent cells only don't think these two are not adjacent cells okay that is wrong now you can think about uh, this one here we have one pair that means uh, one pair and one quad okay till now we have one pair one quad still is there any other possibility so here we have only one square box so is there any possibility to link with any other square box which containing one there is no other possibility to link this square box to any other square box which contains one that's why you can write a boolean expression for this particular 
a square box okay each cell contain this is for a variables k map so that each cell having or literals right what the second point is all the cells containing ones must be covered at least once in any group at least once in any group okay that is important in case manaku possibility ganaka unte manam link cheyali okay in case possibility ledhu anante a single a square box ki meer expression rasa sarpothundi but then deniki kuda link cheyadaniki manaku ikkada possibility anedi ledhu for example ikkada one exist ayyan ankonde so manam directly deni la oka pair la consider chestam edi ikkada oka one exist ayyan anko deni oka pair la consider chestam but manaku a possibility anedi ikkada ledhu కాబట్టి దీన్ని సింగిల్ గానే మనం బూలెన్ ఎక్స్ప్రెషన్ అనేది కన్సిడర్ చేసేస్తాం ఓకే ఈ లింక్ చేయడం వల్ల యూజ్ ఏంటి అని అంటే ఒక పేర్ కానీ ఒక క్వాడ్ కానీ పాసిబుల్ అయ్యే విధంగా లింక్ చేస్తే లిటరల్స్ అనేది రెడ్యూస్ అవుతాయి దట్ మీన్స్ ద లిటరల్స్ ఆర్ రెడ్యూస్ ఓకే దర్ బై గ్రూపింగ్ ఆఫ్ పేర్స్ ఆర్ క్వాడ్స్ ఆర్ సిక్స్ ఎయిట్ అడ్జస్టెంట్ సెల్ అండ్ సిక్స్టీన్ అడ్జస్టెంట్ సెల్ దట్ విల్ లీడ్స్ టు రెడ్యూస్ ద నెంబర్ ఆఫ్ లిటరల్స్ విచ్ విల్ ప్రొవైడ్ ది minimize the boolean expression that is the advantage okay that's why we need to do all the cells containing ones must be covered at least once in any group if that is not possible you can directly write boolean expression for that particular uh, square box okay so that is the observation and next and the next third point at the time of grouping a don't care values can be taken as a ones for sum of product zeros for product of sum anyway i will explain uh, what is this don't care condition in next example okay and uh, all the don't care values need not to be covered by analyzing the k map okay so these are the four uh, simplification rules uh, in order to analyze the k map okay so first one at the time of uh, grouping the adjacent cell containing ones always use maximum possible group so all the cells containing ones must be covered at least once in any group if that is not happen this you can choose binary expression for that particular square box which contains one and at the time of grouping don't care values can be taken as ones for sum of product zeros for product of sum nature by making pair quad or grouping of eight adjacent cell or grouping of 16 adjacent cell right so all don't care values need not to be covered sometimes the don't care values need not to be covered to make the pair or quad or grouping of eight adjacent cell or grouping of 16 adjacent cell in that situation you can leave that uh, don't care value right and the fifth point up to n equals to 5 variables k map is best suitable method to realize the boolean expression so if uh, n greater than or equals to 5 so we have to choose stabilization method to simplify the boolean expression but up to 5 variables is enough okay more than that uh, we cannot expect in gate or ies any other nmc example also up to five variables that is enough uh, for undergraduate level okay so anyway if time permits i will explain uh, tabulation method. and uh, this is about simplification rules okay i will take one example uh, regarding don't care condition right <laughs>